know we drive Tim Holtz nuts with our whole, can we make it permanent on all his wonderful stuff. So today, I am going to see if I can make Distress Mica Stain permanent on my journal pages. There you go, Tim Holtz. So, what I'm going to do is there's two things I want to try. Number one, um, we have a product called Microglaze, Distress Microglaze, that is... Um, that will make all his stuff permanent, right? Any of his inks permanent. So I'm going to do that, of course. Um, but the other thing I want to try, and I had this brilliant idea when I was watching his, um, his demonstration today, was we have another Distress product that is permanent, right? Now, these microglazes, microstains, um, are not the same color as any of the distress colors. He said all of these are like a combination of other colors, but don't forget that the distress paint, when it dries, is permanent. And so I'm wondering if I take distress paint, which you can use with water, right? And I make the distress paint with water and put the mica stain on it, will it make the mica stain permanent because I'm a mixed media artist. Like I do ridiculous things in layers and I can't have the layers moving around. So I gotta figure this out because I ordered more of these. I got all the first ones and I'm gonna do the um, Christmas ones too I ordered today. So we're gonna start with the light colors over here. I got all kinds of crap on my journal. Um, so we're going to start with the, the light colors over here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try first Wild Honey. Okay, I need a bunch of brushes because I don't want to mix my colors today. Luckily for me, I, oh, that's a terrible brush. What happened to that brush? Bad things happen to my brushes. I am not a responsible brush user. That one's a little wonky, too. All right, I just bought a whole bunch of new ones. So, oh, look, there's a unicorn one. So I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six brushes. Yay, us. Okay, so we're going to start with yellow. And I'm going to use um, Wild Honey as the paint color. And this one's almost running out. So we're going to have to um, probably uh, dig in. Oh, we got to get our our spray bottle. I shook them, shook them, shook them. So see, I don't have googies, too many googies on the bottom. All right, so let's do this. So I have all my stuff. I have my paintbrush. Oh, those are the ones that are, let's just stick them in the paintbrush water. Okay, I have my paintbrush, which I probably will need to dig my paint out of here with. I have my mica spray. I have my water. So first off, we're going to do water all over here then we're gonna do paint up at the top because the the distress paint is water reactive so the cool thing about the distress paint is if you um have ever used acrylic paint with water it kind of the color goes away and um and gets way less um, vibrant, but with distress paint, that doesn't happen. So let's keep this wet. I wanna keep the paint wet because it dries pretty fast and I'm in Florida and nothing dries fast in Florida. So it, if you're not in Florida, it probably dries really freaking fast. Okay, so that's the top half and this is the bottom half. So I'm gonna give one more squirt. And then we're going to do our, our, our mica stain. Oh, that's so pretty. I saw that and I was like, I must have the beautiful mica stain color. Okay, so now I think you can, we're going to give it a second. We're going to move it around too. Boop, boop, boop. Shh. 
so pretty. And there's just a ton of color. So the, the from what Tim says, the stain is this beautiful yellow color, which you can't see as much on here. And the mica is this beautiful gold color. Oh, could, could I pull this through? Ooh, what happens if I do that? Ooh, it works better with my finger. Okay, so we're gonna kinda pull this around so it's not so clumpy clumpy. Okay. Oh, I scratched my paper and then the, the stain got in there. Do we wanna do that same thing up here in the paint? See what happens? I don't hate that. Okay, okay. And now, oh, I just wiped it on myself. That happens too. All right, we're gonna dry it. I don't know if you can see it, but you can chase the uh, the mica around. It's kind of fun. You can't see it to chase it around up there, but you can chase it around with your heat tool. All right, we have this at least starting to dry. I'm gonna put this over to the side. I'm gonna close this up because we don't need this anymore. And we're going to do black. And I have a good feeling about black because this um, paint is wicked wet anyways. The um, black, the black um, distress black soot paint is very watery already. Okay, so let's do this. And we're gonna do our black paint up here. Okay, let's do some more water. And then let's do the empty tomb is the black color. Okay, cool. Oh, you can see the mica moving around up there. I think it's because the black soot is so watery. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna do another experiment when we get done with this one. Okay, let's dry this at least a little bit. Oh, we can move our mica around again. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of cool. And I put a lot of water on this. I feel like there's a big puddly thing down here. So hold on. Let's get this puddly thing. I'm just trying to wick the water off. There we go. And that looks like a puddly thing, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get that puddle off. And we're gonna put this aside to dry and see what happens. Here's my idea. So I don't need, is this black? Yep. I don't need black anymore. Oh, I gotta wash my paintbrushes. This time, we're gonna, we gotta do black again because my yellow one is actually hooked to my journal. Um, okay, so this time we're gonna do, and I don't need black soot anymore. We're gonna, and I don't need this anymore, but I don't have a place for these yet. We're gonna do um, the orange, which is jack-o'-lantern, but we're gonna wet the paint like the black soot is rather than putting so much water on here to get the paint to be wet. We're gonna put the water and the paint over here, right? That's too much paint. Okay, we're gonna do this. Make this like black soot paint, right? And then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna wet it. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. All right, here we go. That is so wicked cool. Okay. So now we got this thinking about itself. Ooh, I kind of feel like I want to, um, excuse me for one second, get a little bit of that orange sopped up. Okay, I'm coming back, don't worry. Oh, I have a, a yucky journal. So let's think about, we could probably do this. Right? We don't want to waste all that paint. Boop, boop, boop. And that's Wally. Sorry. 
you know, he always hears me talking and then he's got to go out or come in. Well, he's out right now, so we're going to have to go fetch him. That'll give us our three. Let's let those three dry and I'll be back. So in our test, that did not work. You can see a little bit of sheen in there, but not enough to warrant using our good stuff on. Like there's a little bit of sheen, there's a little bit of crumblies, but nothing to write home about. Especially not when you compare it with like this and this. This is the coolest one, this, this, um, this uh, orange one. So the thing about this is it will reactivate, right? And so that's one of the things, if you take and you want just little droppies, you can make little droppies in there and do all kinds of cool effects with it. But let's see if we can, if that did actually work in that it doesn't, see it doesn't come up anymore, just maybe a tiny little bit, but it also isn't shiny anymore. So that kind of, for me at least, negates the, the good effect of that. So it was worth a try. Um, I'm gonna, here, I'll let you watch because everybody likes to watch stuff happen. Um, I'm gonna spray these, and I don't care that, that there's orange up here and black down here, like, it's fine. My art is like that. So we're gonna do um, this. Let's go ahead and Get this, we're not wasting that. Get that on there. Maybe do a couple little spritzies. And we're gonna let this dry. I feel like the orange, oh, I want some on my tab. There we go. Oh, and now I want some over here. And some over there. Okay, all right. Now I want some more down here. Okay, enough. So I'm gonna let these guys dry naturally. I'm gonna make a drip. Look, I made a drip. Ho, ho, ho. I know you're totally jelly of my drip. I'm gonna let these dry naturally until tomorrow morning and then, um, well, I'll let you watch the, the rest of them too. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do the black. Let's do a, I want more of a, less of a spray and more of a squirt. Okay. And as with anything, you're going to get better at spraying. Like this is the first time I opened them, so I'm not good at these yet, but I'll get better at them. Okay. So I want to, I want to get that. It's on top of the paint now, so it'll be fine. It'll do the same cool mica -y thing. Um, and last but not least, we got this guy. And let's do, where's his squirty? I put all my paint away because it didn't work. Thought it would be a good idea. But you have to try, right? Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Let's see if we can get some drippies. Oh, there it goes. It's doing something. Now that's the top of my journal, so we gotta, I can't have drips going upwards in my journal. That would be too much for me. All my drippies gotta come down. I'm pretty loosey-goosey, airy-fairy, but upward drips just, no. That's not, I, so I do a lot of magazine collage and, um, it's so funny because like I'll have these super, super weird things going on and then I'm like, but it has to be f like possible in physics, right? And uh, I always wonder if people think I'm a little bit nutsy. All right, I don't want those drips to be so like specific and we're just going to let this thing sit here. I kind of feel like I need to push it down at least a little bit so that it doesn't like all fall off the round edges. So I'm gonna let all of these dry till tomorrow morning and I'll be back. Alrighty, so it's morning now. I really like this orange one. So 
People ask about fluming, meaning the, the glitter coming off. So I pushed pretty hard and there's a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm not worried about this, um, the glitter coming off. I'm worried about the stuff moving as I put a million different layers on. So we're gonna continue. Something stayed wet, ooh, that's weird. Okay, we're gonna continue our saga in trying to get this to be permanent. All right, you can see, there's not too much coming off. Um, you can see that it's glittery, right? So we know for a fact, where'd it go? I've lost it. Did I put it back in the drawer? Oh, we know for a fact that Distress Microglaze will keep this from reactivating, okay? So let's go ahead and put that over here on this orange part, because I really like this orange part. So you just take a little bit and you can rub it all over. And I wanna see if it makes the, the um, jingly shiny bit not as jingly shiny. So we have to give it a second to dry. And while we're doing that, let's try some Mod Podge and see what happens with that. I think Mod Podge is going to move the glitter, right? I think it's going to move the glitter around and make it liquid again, right? Just like as if we put water on it, right? And that's what Tim Holtz says is it, it, you're going to put liquid on it and it's going to move it. Okay, so let's try Mod Podge. And I'm just going to do it tiny, tiny light. And this is matte Mod Podge. So this is going to, so we have a, oh, see, there it goes. It's moving it. We have a problem already because matte Mod Podge is going to make stuff matte, right? That's the point of Matte Mod Podge. But let's see what happens. We'll try it out. And we can see that it moved. And this is why I worry so much about using it in my artwork without being able to seal it because as a background, it I can't have that kind of movement. So there's something else that stayed wet. I wonder what I put on here that I that made my stuff stay wet. Okay, so let's, so Mod Podge is not our answer. Let's try down here, Nouveau Glue. Oh, I got these baby ones. Let's do a baby one. We're just gonna test it on a corner. So Nouveau Glue is not as watery as um, Mod Podge is. All right, it didn't do anything, but I don't know if there was anything on that corner to do anything with. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Cross your fingers. It's not sticking, there's an air bubble in there. I have a pin. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, there we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's get another silicone brush. Now, I don't know that I would want to put glue on a real paintbrush. Okay, so first off, we got a little bit of movement, but I don't know if that's just because I'm like beating up on the stuff, right? All right, let's 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 give that a second to dry. What else do I have that I could possibly use? <sighs> let's try, what about clear gesso? Now, clear gesso isn't the best thing in the world um, for my artwork to begin with because it, uh, it, um, 
it has roughness to it. Okay, let's see. Clear gesso. So we got a little bit of stuff going for sure, but let's see what it does. So this is, Mod Podge is not the answer, 100%. Microglaze, so this is dry now. I haven't messed with this one yet. Microglaze is magic. It turns all of Tim Holtz's stuff. Ooh, that's so cool. Let's put that up there. So there's a tiny bit of stuff coming up, probably because I missed a spot, but it's not going to like do this same thing where um, it just moves all around. So Mod Podge is not the answer. Microglaze thus far is the answer. And I do think you still, oh, look, you still get a bunch of it. Poor Microglaze. I've just done so much to this stuff. You still get a bunch of the shine. So I don't know why I went through all of this to find out that it's Microglaze that works, but and this, thus far, let's see what happens. Can we dry the Nuvo? Okay, I feel like the Nuvo did not work at all. So no Nuvo, no Mod Podge. So glue-based things are not the answer. Now let's look at this. Oh, sister. Clear gesso? We're going to try that again, right? Because that was what we put on here, clear gesso, or was this the clear gesso? No, this was the clear gesso. We're trying that again. Woohoo! We may have an answer. Woo! Gesso's fine for paint brushes. We're gonna do it over this whole thing. And I'm getting a little bit, not like I did with the uh, the Mod Podge. And, and for sure, we don't want to... to keep playing with it, right? Like this is a one and done. You get one shot at putting your gesso on. So out of all of that whole page, whoop, we got that little bit. Now we have to see if it stays shiny. Mod Podge, Mod Podge matte didn't stay shiny, but that's stupid. I should have used the um, Mod Podge glossy. I think you still get kind of cool, um, you get kind of cool blobbies, but I feel like that's from the, that's less, well, I don't know. I kind of like that. You don't get sheen anymore. Right, the sheen is gone, but I like the cool blobbies, so I'm not mad at that. This up here with the microglaze, you still have the sheen and everything. You can still see everything going on. Nuvo just hosed that. And thus far, we've got still with the gesso, all the, the sheen. So let's see what happens with this. Now, I do feel like it made it lines, don't you? All right, let's see, can we dry it at all? So I went and cleaned my paint brushes and I thought clear gesso might be our answer, but I don't think it is. First off, I could use a bigger brush and not have the lines. I do still have some sheen in there, but it definitely isn't the sheen that that you're using for microglaze. And now this page is, um, clear gesso is really hard on my paint markers. So I'm going to have to remember that that's it. So anyways, the only thing that worked is the thing that Tim says that works, um, distress microglaze. So that's what went on down here. 
it works just fine it's a little bit tacky right now i know that um it's kind of like beeswax or something anyways anywho i'm not mad at any of it i think it all looks cool i think uh, so, so microglaze is the best for what it's intended. I kind of feel like Matt Mod Podge made it kind of a cool effect, but I definitely think you could get that effect with, you know, for sure with oxide sprays or spray stain or something. Everything is all still gross. All right. So anyways, I'm going to make a um, tag. Well, I want to make an envelope. So I'm going to make an envelope with my um, free printable Halloween things. And I will show you that, how it comes out in the end. Because I know lots of you worry that you're going to make a mistake in your art. And I don't think there's any way to make a mistake in your art. I think this is just a background and we're gonna do a thousand things over it anyways and all will be well. So I'll show you that when I get done with it. All right, I promised to show you how the page that I did with the um, shimmies came out and you can see back in here they came out. They're over here and a little bit behind here, but um, I did notice that it, um, it moved, it got on some of my other stuff, but it wasn't the end of the world, so. And I have a whole video about how I made that. Hopefully that helps, Tara Jacobson, artsy-fartsy life.